Hey guys, my name is Joe and this is my mukbang. If this is your first time here, please consider hitting that subscribe button down that way. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back to watch some more. Today's mukbang is from Kilo Shack. Kilo Shack is actually it's a well-known little tiny shack in the middle of Apia and people from all over the business district come down to Kilo Shack to enjoy their food. It's just, it's just this tiny little place. Here's a quick clip of me just walking up to the place so you can see how tiny I'm talking about. Anna Brown and Richard Brown of the Minnesota Vikings, they're the ones who own Kilo Shack and man, customer service there is excellent so I'm really excited to dig in. I just got three quick things today, well actually four I guess. This is the chili cheese fries, so a little bit of yumminess there. Looks awesome. Then we have an awesome double bacon cheeseburger. Yep, look at that deliciousness. Yummy. Comes with fries, costs 15 tala. And then a grilled fish burger with lots and lots of tartar sauce. You guys know I love my tartar sauce. All right, let's just jump in. What should I start with? Chili cheese fries, you say? Chili cheese fries it is. Okay, so I gotta be honest with you. I'm not like a huge chili cheese fries fan and mostly it's because it's like a lot of cumin and a lot of taco seasoning and I like my fries just as fries or with some sort of barbecue twist to it. It's pretty good. Lots and lots of cheese as you can see. And the other good thing about this chili cheese fries is that the cheese is like layered throughout there, so. Mm. Yep, delicious. All right, one more bite of that. It's really good. Um, have any of you guys been to Kilo Shack? Have you heard about it? I have actually heard about it. I heard about it a long time ago, but I haven't been able to make it there because people told me the wrong directions, or at least I understood them incorrectly, I guess. But then I randomly drove by it today. I was like, hey, that's Kilo Shack. Go over here to the fish burger. I asked for a little bit extra tartar sauce because like I said, you guys know how much I love tartar sauce. Looks like it's two, two pieces of fish, one on the bottom and then one on top and lots and lots of tartar sauce. Really nice soft bun. Mm, yeah, yeah. That tartar sauce is amazing. The fish itself, it's a tad on the dry side. I expected it to actually be a deep fried fish, but it's a grilled fish, so. All good there, but like I said, the fish is a little bit dry, so so glad that there's a lot of tartar sauce in there. And it's a homemade tartar sauce too. This lady, she knows how to cook. Mm. It's a tad bit on the salty side. So for those of you that are worried about sodium, if you have a low sodium diet or something, maybe not for you. As for me, I love it. Mm -hmm. Dang, I forgot my napkins. Use the lava lava. Man, this is delicious. I'm actually surprised at how good this is. Real nice and simple. Chicken, a homemade tartar sauce, and shredded lettuce on an awesome bun. The bun has been toasted, so that's a nice little extra hint of love. Mm. Yeah. They have a fairly limited menu, but everything is affordable. And I was asking her about her prices and stuff. And she said the reason why the prices are where they are because she's trying to cater to the locals. You know, $20 for a meal is probably a little bit too much. So she hits them at 15 for burger and fries. And quality too. So that's really nice. She was also really friendly. The girls in the back were nice. You could tell that they appreciated their job and they were really good at it. It really wasn't my intention to wolf that down, but Holy cow. 15 bucks for that fish burger? Hard to beat that. The fries, kind of standard fare. She does have a little bit of special seasoning on the fries. Um, you can see it a little bit there. It's just, you know, like a seasoned salt or something, but these are just fine. But I got a lot of fries to get to, so put that to the side. Let's get back to the chili cheese fries. So multiple people told me you gotta get the chili cheese fries. And like I said, normally I wouldn't go after the chili cheese fries, but in this case, when multiple people tell me you gotta go after chili cheese fries, kinda gotta listen. And this whole plate of chili cheese fries, only 10 bucks. 10 tala, which is $3.85. Pretty good. Really happy with the chili cheese fries. I wish there was some sort of sauce on it. Though. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Say that with all of this stuff swimming in sauce. Maybe like some sort of sour cream, maybe. Some sort of sweet sauce. Like I said, I like the sweet barbecue sauce, so a little bit of a sweeter sauce is up my alley. But this sauce is great. 
If you're a fan of chili cheese fries, I think you're gonna love this. It's nice and traditional, lots of cheese in here, and a great sauce. Mmm, happy. Thank you, Anna. You done good, and your girls did good. Quick little shout out to our Patreon sponsors. Anga Lele, Krista, Jubilee, Tara, Shawa, the best username in all of YouTube. Big Papa. Big Papa. Ross. Rose. And our newest sponsor, Lale and Talafulu, and their daughters, Taylin and Lauteshna. Thank you guys all so much for sponsoring Jamily TV through Patreon and uh, for finding the tier that works for you guys so that you guys can get the rewards that you guys want and also so that you guys can help support the channel in bringing these videos to you. The support that you guys give us helps us to pay for these mukbangs that you guys all love to see. It also helps us to get that much closer to being able to hire an editor so that that editor can help Alicia and relieve some of the workload that she has so that we can bring more videos to you guys. Our goal is actually to bring you guys four or five videos a week. Right now we're between two and three. The more sponsors we get, the more opportunities that we get to be able to increase the output for all of you guys. So thank you so much. It's a big deal and we really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you again, especially to Lale and Talafulu and their daughters, Taylin and Lauteshna. Thank you guys. Back to the burger. It's a double burger, got some bacon, some cheese, mayo and love. Love is the most important ingredient. Okay. Looking, that looks like a nice, doesn't that look like a good burger? Keep in mind, burger and fries for 15 bucks. All right, burger time. When are we up? Mmm, that's a quality burger right there. 15 bucks for a double burger with some fries. Incredible, incredible. You know what, Mother's Day's coming up. What are you guys doing for Mother's Day? Today was our first day out of lockdown for the girls, so they went back to school. I'm thinking it'd be awesome if we could go somewhere this weekend. We're not real sure. I haven't even talked to Alicia about it, but it'd be cool. Reach out to some places and see what we can do. Maybe we can squeeze in a resort review while we're there. Those are hard though. It takes like two or three days to do for the quality that you guys appreciate. Oh yeah, maybe we can do it. And that's the cool thing about Samoa is that Mother's Day is a national holiday. So Monday we're actually off from school and everything else. So maybe we will do a little weekend, little weekend getaway there. Mm. I'm gonna have to set that up. For those of you that have family here in Samoa, I've told you guys about this before, but make sure to hit up iBuyPacific.com. Zing! iBuyPacific.com, I'm a partner in this business, and so I guarantee you guys that you're gonna have a good experience, and if you don't, I'll make sure to take care of it. But we have these Mother's Day packages that we'll be uploading today or tomorrow. They're just care packages, perfect for your family, perfect for your mom um, or your sister or anybody that's important here for you in Samoa. So make sure to check that out. Oh man, you can tell the burger is cooked to a perfect medium, maybe even a medium well, which traditionally is probably a little bit too much for me. I like mine a little bit more medium, leaning towards medium rare on the, on the burger scale, but they make up for it with a great sauce that keeps it, that keeps it nice and light and juicy and moist. Mm-hmm. You know, my only suggestion is maybe change out the whaties for something else, but that said, the burger is a solid burger. So, and at 15 bucks, this is this rates as a 10. You just can't get a better value for 15 bucks than this burger. The taste, the price, everything, the quality of the meat, the quality of the cheese and the lettuce, it's just awesome. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys about this thing. This is a chocolate shake. She actually gave me the chocolate shake. Thank you so much, Anna. I hope I'm saying your name right. Can't remember if it's Anna or Anna. Thank you so much for the chocolate shake. What I really like about this chocolate shake, she used three whole scoops of ice cream and mashed it into this thing. The cup was actually like heaping full when I got it. But while I was in the car, I was like, oh man, I gotta drink that thing right now because it was so hot. What you guys don't see is all of that loveliness right there. Ugh, gross. Hot in Samoa. Mmm, my chocolate shake melted. Oh well. She used like a, a cookies and cream, ice cream, and then put some chocolate syrup in there too. Ah, I wish I had three more of those things. Those are 10 bucks too. So again, everything here was 50 bucks. 15, 15, 10, and 10. So I was actually really happy with this meal and I hope that you guys are happy with this meal 
When you come to Samoa, put Kilo Shack on the list of budget places to go when you guys need a quick quality place to eat for lunch. When you're in town shopping for all of your Aveni goods or your Tanoa goods, this is Aveni today, but I love Tanoa too. You guys know this like purple blue combo. My favorite. Mmm, fire. All right, Manuelaso, Faso Hua Fa. Oh boy. The kingdom is tired. Bah. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be my neighbor? Oh, you're still here. Thank you so much for bringing us to 20,000 subscribers. Man, mind blown. I have to figure out a way to, to celebrate 20,000 subscribers. What are we gonna do? Hmm, what are we gonna do? Probably put a promotion together for I Buy Pacific. For everyone that orders over 200 Tala from I Buy Pacific for the rest of this week until Mother's Day, May 10th, we'll give your family a $10 top up for Digicel. Digicel only. Sorry, Blue Sky, you're out. Digicel for life. What is it? Mm. I don't know the gang sign for Digicel for life. Mm-hmm. <laughs>